Did you know that you can create watertight FDM parts with Stratasys Insight software? I'm Drew Davis, a manufacturing application engineer at GoEngineer, and I'm going to show you how. Simply by changing some settings, you can modify the way that the tool paths are deposited layer by layer, closing off some of the inherent porosity of FDM parts. First thing you need is a part. Here's one. I designed it in SOLIDWORKS from a silhouette picture off the internet. Now my part doesn't have very thick walls, but if it did, I would want to change my part interior style to solid fill, like this. To begin, I'm going to click on Toolpaths in the main menu, and click on Setup in the drop-down. At the bottom of the current operation window, click on Advanced Settings to pop up the Advanced Settings window. Within this window, I'm interested in two checkboxes. The first is Link Contours. This is going to connect my inner and outer contour paths. And because I've designed the wall thicknesses of this part to be exactly two contour lines thick, I don't need to use multiple contours in the Part Fill Style field. If I had thicker walls, I could use that feature to determine the number of contour tool paths I want throughout my part. The next box to check is Use Parallel Offset Part Rasters. This is going to do two things automatically. The first thing is it's going to align the rasters and add an extra contour line to every other layer of solid fill geometry. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to slice the part and generate tool paths and go into a top view. By shading tool paths, I can visualize more accurately what my printed part is going to look like layer by layer. And as I go up layer by layer, you can see that the rasters are lined up but shift in position to fill the gap between the rasters on the layer below. Also, there's an extra contour line added so the air gaps created by the end of the raster turning around are filled in. Scrolling farther up the part, I can see that the walls are, in fact, two toolpaths wide, and in this corner, they are connected. This connection means that for each layer, water has to go all the way around the perimeter of the part to leak out. After all of this work, I went ahead and printed this part on one of our Fortis 250MC printers and tested it. I added color to the water to be able to see where it would leak if it was going to, and I'm happy to report that there was no leaking. I left this water in the container for 36 hours with no leaks. Now go try this at home. Thank you for watching, and as always, for more fun stuff, head on over to GoEngineer.com.